Yo, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to Fun Time TV, like, comment, and always stay connected. Fun Time, bro. My name is Jimmy Raff. Yeah, so uh, now it's obvious that most of the African leaders think the people they are serving or ruling. No, I think ruling is the best way because most of the African leaders are rather are kind of ruling than serving. They are oppressing their own people sitting on top of huge amount of money just imagine the amount of money just look at the amount of money that was found in the house of the uh gabon's president's son's house the son of ali bongo's house 150 million dollars and i think that was to his spiritual father that 150 million dollars is to the spiritual father just the spiritual father alone bro just to the spiritual father alone 150 million dollars can you imagine the amount of money uh his own son might be having at the moment not to talk of the amount of money the main man the president himself is sitting on at the moment it's obvious that this, it's obvious that these people these african leaders some of them some of the african leaders think their people are are not wise enough they think our people some of the people are not wise enough till the extent that you had the audacity to come sit on social media to come sit on the media telling people to scream so that the other people come uh other people the war can come for your aid the the, the people can come help you like people around the world will come help you that's the perception that people do have about the african uh the ordinary citizens the ordinary african citizens and i don't know why some people may even think that uh the, the governance belongs to a certain uh, family so ali bongo's father was a president you know the, the the ali bongo's family has been ruling gabon for more than 50 years they've been ruling the whole country for more than 50 years ali bongo came into power i think in 2009 and he's still ruling recently they went for an election and your man you know manipulated the whole system he manipulated the whole system and came out as a winner you know eventually came out as a winner i know coup isn't the solution because me i don't believe in coup most of these leaders that are ruling over years came as a result of coup they came made a whole lot of promises that they were going to make their country better they came told you know they made a whole lot of promises that they were going to make their country better and now look at the amount of money that they are sitting on look at the amount of money they are sitting on in their country look they, they, their people are going through poverty their people are going through hell their people are going through struggles their people are going through hell and you people are sitting on this huge amount of money your people are going through struggles and your people came as a result of coup because the previous administration wasn't doing something right and you people came to take over you people came to take over and instead of you to be doing something great you are rather stealing all the money that are like you are you people are rather stealing all the money that um that, 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 that that's made for that's made to be uh for the whole country Look, no one is saying that uh, sitting on, uh, you know, being in power for a long period of time is uh, a crime. There's nothing wrong with sitting in power for a, a long period of time. Only if you people will do what the citizens want. Charlie, I think even the citizens themselves will give you the power. I think the citizens themselves will give you the power if only you do what they want. Serious, like... I don't know why people gain gain the power and uh, eventually feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. I don't know why people will get all the power and feel like I'm sitting on top of the world. So I have to suppress everybody. I have to, you know, sit on top of them. Like I have to rule. I'm a ruler. I'm not here to save. Like I'm not here to save. I'm sitting off on huge amount of money, bro. Just imagine. Pokigami. Look at her, one of the most loved uh, president in Africa because Charlie, man has been working hard. Man has been working hard ever since uh, 
you know, their conflicts way back, more than 20 years ago. You know, the, the people are going through another phase. And, you know, Paul Kigami is really working hard to make sure that the country, the, the country begins to get a very respectable re reputation. And Charlie, your man is really achieving it. Charlie, he's really, really achieving it. And the country, the people love him. If, you know, these people are still practicing democracy in their country. Just that the Porkigami president, the Rwanda president, is doing something right. That's why they still keep him in power. That's why he is still in power. And with these kind of people, even if you try to overthrow them, it won't work. Because like I've been telling you, or one of our pre former president, Jerry John Rollins, said, a coup, you know, he, he also did a coup. He came into power, uh, he, yeah, he ruled for about 19 years. And recently, one of his uh, documentaries, he said, a coup will never succeed if the atmosphere is not calling for it. A coup can never succeed if the atmosphere is not calling for it. You people are always creating the atmosphere for people for, for violence. Charlie, you people are the most of the African leaders are always creating uh atmosphere for violence. The you know most of the African leaders, yeah, the people who have been in power for a very long time are always creating atmosphere for violence. And look at what's happening in Cameroon. Right after there was a coup in uh Gabon. Your man had to, you know, reshuffle most of his military uh, leaders, his military personnel. He had to, you know, reshuffle all most of their military personnel. Because he knows that the atmosphere isn't good enough. He knows himself that the atmosphere isn't good enough, bro. He knows the atmosphere isn't good enough. So he has to reshuffle. He's afraid. <laughs> he's afraid of his... He's afraid to lose the power. And you know, they don't come in uh, into power with a mindset, you know, to do something good. They just come into power to enrich their families. They come into power to enrich their families, bro. No, no proper education system, no proper what and what, no proper anything. They just come, you know, look at the man, an amount of money that was found in the house of the man. $150 million, bro. $150 million. And now, he's under, he, he has been arrested. The son and he himself are, the president has been arrested. They've been arrested, Charlie. And whenever the country doesn't like you, whether you like it or not, if, like, no matter what you do, you will eventually lose. Look at what happened to Muhammad Gaddafi. Gaddafi was a very good president. But the people told you that, Charlie, we don't like you anymore. We don't like you. And, you know, there is no way, no matter, no matter how powerful you are, no matter how powerful you are, there is no way you can fight against the majority. There is no way you can fight against the majority, bro. There is no way. And to all those foreigners who are trying to, uh, who are trying to, make it look as if what the Gabonese did, the, the military the, the military people did is wrong. Charlie, the people are happy. You people have to think about the citizens, their happiness first before the people are happy, the people themselves are happy of what's going on. So you people should just relax, chill. The people didn't, no one told you that they are not happy. From all, from all indications, from all we've been seeing on the media, indicates that the people the gabonese are happy of what's going on the gabonese are happy of what's going on so you people should just chill sit in wherever you are coming from and you know mind your own businesses there that'll be all charlie yo my name is jimmy Ralph. kindly subscribe to this channel like comment and always stay connected Whenever you people come into power, you people should always make sure you you, you do the right thing, bro. You people should. I, I don't believe cool. Yeah, I don't believe cool. Like yesterday, I told you that uh, ever since Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown, he was overthrown for doing some. I, I'm not saying Nkrumah was a saint. Yeah, everybody has his or own flaws. Like Nkrumah was actually the best president uh, Ghana has ever had you know Nkrumah was the best person in Ghana has ever had and 
yeah, even though he was the president, he also had his flaws. He also had his ups and downs. And, you know, he was overthrown because people had a perception that he was uh, a dictator or what and what. Like, he was, like, people thought he wasn't doing a lot of things right. And they came over. They came to take over. And ever since, Ghana has never been the way it used to be. A whole lot of businesses have collapsed. A whole lot of airlines. Our Ghana airlines are everything has been collapsed. A lot of companies, uh, the president bills, then way back, collapsed. You understand, Charlie? It collapsed. So I keep telling people that coup d'etat isn't the only solution. Charlie, we can find better solutions, Charlie. We can find better solutions. Kindly subscribe to this channel, like, comment, and always stay connected. I'll be back with more fun time, man.